Today you're going to learn how to create this texture wave energy. So first let's put material view so we can see the material and let's open a new tab clicking here and dragging. And here we have our object and here we are going to select shade editor. To close this panel press N and now we can see we have white that's why we see white but we're going to use as a base color a texture actually a wave texture. And now we have these bands. Here we have bands because we have selected bands. We can put rings. So it's similar, but we have rings. I'm going to use bands. And here we have the scale. If we increase the scale, we have more bands. If we decrease, we have less. And here we have distortion. So if we play with that and this value, we can create like waves. For example, we can increase detail, so we have more this texture, but if you want it more clean, just leave it in zero. And you can play to create this pattern with distortion, more distortion, less, you can put something like that, and this value. So something like that looks like waves. Perfect. And here we have other options that you can play to see what happens. And this one is to animate the face. So we can put keyframes here to make it alive. Okay, but what if I want these rings, these bands in this direction? Something like that. So we need to change the mapping. So we need to put something here to change the position. To make it faster, we can drag two nodes, but to make it faster, I recommend you to go to Edit, Preference, Add-ons, and activate Wrangle. This, if you activate this, just selecting this texture and pressing Ctrl T, you add these two nodes with one click. So basically now we can change, for example, the position of the X, this axis, the Y, the Z, and rotate. So I want to rotate in this axis, in the Y axis. So we have this here. So I'm going to rotate, for example, 90 degrees. And now I have the rings, the waves here. Perfect. So now to animate this, what we can do is to move this with keyframes, or actually you can just click and press hashtag frame. And if you press play, now this is going to be really fast because every frame is going to change a value. If you want to make it slower, just divide this value. For example, 10. And now we have this animation. I can make this smaller so it goes faster and if you want the other direction just divide it by a negative number so now it goes to the other direction but how we can change the color of this really easy between these two nodes we need to put a color ram so we can change the colors here we can push the blacks to create more contrast or the whites as you can see actually you can change the order you can make more black for example or more white, or what you can do, for example, is to create another color here and put it here and put black, for example. So now we have less white and we can change this color for whatever color we want. For example, I'm going to select blue. And you can play with that to change the transition. If you want to make it more contrast, select here constant. And now you have really sharp contrast. And you can play with this zone to define the width. Okay, we have that. I'm going to put a bit more. And if I press play, I have this animation. I'm going to change it a bit to make it more interesting. Something, for example, like that. And this too. Something like, I don't know, maybe like this. Like this is cool. And the final trick. I recommend you, if you want to make it like glow, just open emission and take a wire and connect it here. And now, if you increase this number, we are making more glow. But to see the change, you need to go to the view of render. I press Z to go faster. And now, let me increase this. I forgot something really important, go here and activate blue.
So now we have, let me make here the background darker, and now we have these cool energy waves. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So, see you next video.